Welcome to Catholic Social Media News. Here we are at the Capitol Building in Washington, D.C., reporting for you on the election this past week where Donald Trump was elected the next president of the United States. Behind me right now are a few people protesting Trump, but that's about it for now. Everything seems pretty calm. <laughs> that's about it, folks. <laughs> okay, now they look kind of old. Before, they were like little kids standing up there saying like, no Trump. Oh, they're all coming down off the monument. I don't know why. Oh, the police showed up. The police showed up. Do you see them? See the police? Here is our shot from the White House. There's nobody protesting here at the moment, though we heard some shouts earlier when we are on the other side of this massive fence they have. They fenced off a large portion of the area around the White House, the front and the back. Protests have dissipated, and there are a few officers around, but and other people looking to see the White House and come by. But other than that, I don't really see too much else going on. We'll just have to see how things progress over the next two months to the inauguration day of Donald Trump. Cardinal Pietro Parolin, the Vatican Secretary of State came out with a statement on November 9th concerning the election results. First of all, he said, we respectfully must take note of the will expressed by the American people in this exercise of democracy that, they tell me, was characterized by a large turnout at the polls. We send our best wishes to the new president that his administration may be truly fruitful, the cardinal said. And we also assure him of our prayers that the Lord will enlighten and sustain him in his service to his country, naturally, but also in serving the well-being and peace of the world. He further says, let's see how the president acts. Normally, they say it is one thing to be a candidate and another to be a president to have that responsibility. It seems premature to make judgments until Trump is inaugurated and begins making decisions, Cardinal Parolin said. It's been a very exciting trip to get all the way to D.C. to experience this ourselves and bring it back to you here at New Catholic Generation. Thank you for watching.